The paint's done. We're gonna let it cure a little bit, but let's go ahead and take the plastic off. I'm excited to see what this thing looks like when it's not all covered up like a ghost town. Not bad. There's still a lot of work to be done. Um, we've got to put in new hood latches and hood kit here. We have to bolt things down, put new grill stuff on. Uh, as you can see, we haven't painted the front grill. I still got to paint that. I want to paint that black. Uh, we still want to paint the underside and get rid of all the rust underneath. There's not a lot, but you know what little there is. But overall, really happy with the way this is turning out. The color is just incredible. But to really appreciate it, I think we need to go take it for a drive out in the sunshine. Let's take a look at the details of the paint and see if we missed any spots, see how good the paint is. Um, overall, just the look of the Jeep is really nice. Really excited about this, but let's take a close look and see how good a rattle can paint job really did. Things you wanna look for is uneven paint, you know, stuff that maybe doesn't look quite as nice, splotchiness, things like that. Overall, I think this paint did really, really well. Got to put a lot of stuff back on and put a lot of stuff back together. Still a lot of work to do, but overall, I got to tell you, I am really, really happy with the way this came out. Look at that. That is shaping up nicely. So what do you think of my paint job? Do you think you would attempt a rattle can uh, spray paint job on a Jeep? Would you do it on a new one or only on an older one like this? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and uh, can't wait to show you the next step.